Have you ever wondered about the mysteries that lie within you? In the kingdom of Veridoria, where the trees whispered secrets and the rivers sang melodies of old, these mysteries stirred within a young woman named Elara. Despite being a scholar's daughter, steeped in the wisdom of books, Elara yearned for something more. She sought a deeper understanding, a knowledge that could not be found within the pages of dusty tomes. On a day like any other, she found herself in an ethereal glade, home to a magnificent oak tree. This wasn't an ordinary tree, it reached toward the heavens as if it were an ancient sage, and upon touching its gnarled trunk, Elara was met with an otherworldly glow. A soft voice whispered, Seek the path within, dear child, and you shall find the answers you seek. With her heart fluttering with anticipation, Elara embarked on a journey to uncover the mysteries of her inner world. As Elara journeyed deeper into her consciousness, she encountered a series of trials and tribulations. The labyrinth of her mind unfolded like a vast, uncharted territory, brimming with the shadows of her deepest fears and insecurities. Each step she took, each breath she drew, echoed with the resonance of her own vulnerability. She found herself in a forest, thick and dark, where her doubts loomed like towering trees, obscuring the light of clarity. Here, she grappled with the gnarled roots of her insecurities, each one a reminder of past regrets and overlooked potential. Yet with the whispers of her intuition guiding her, she navigated through the labyrinthine forest, confronting and overcoming the shadows that sought to hold her back. Further into her journey, Elara encountered a river, fast, furious, and seemingly insurmountable. It was the river of uncertainty, roaring with the tumultuous currents of her fears. For a moment she faltered, the roar of the river threatening to drown the whispers of her inner voice. But with a deep breath, she plunged into the river, battling the currents with steadfast determination. With each stroke, each battle against the relentless tide, Ilara found her resolve strengthening, her fears losing their grip on her. The river, once a symbol of her deepest fears, transformed into a testament of her resilience. She emerged on the other side, not just unscathed but reborn, stronger, more self-aware, and attuned to the whispers of her intuition. But the journey was far from over. Each trial, each tribulation she faced, was but a stepping stone on the path to self-discovery. With every fear she faced, every insecurity she overcame, Ilara was peeling away the layers of her being, revealing the core of her true self. The journey was arduous, fraught with challenges that tested her resolve. But with each challenge she overcame, Ilara felt herself growing stronger and more attuned to the whispers of her inner voice. The shadows of her fears and insecurities were no longer obstacles, but catalysts, propelling her forward on her journey within. Along the way, Elara encountered a host of curious characters. Each one, a unique embodiment of the various facets of her own self, mirrored back aspects she had yet to fully acknowledge, let alone integrate. This journey was not just about traversing the terrain of her mind, but also about meeting and accepting the multitude of selves that resided within her. Firstly, there was the wise old sage, a symbol of wisdom and insight. His riddles were not mere puzzles, but profound truths hidden within layers of complexity. They were, in essence, a reflection of Alara's own intellect and wisdom that she often downplayed. His presence reminded her of the depth of her understanding and the power of her intuition. Next, she met a mischievous sprite who danced on moonbeams and laughed in the face of convention. This sprite, with its carefree spirit and infectious laughter, mirrored Elara's suppressed spontaneity and playfulness. It was a wake-up call, a reminder that it was okay to let go, to be free, to be unapologetically herself. Lastly, a noble knight appeared, stern and unyielding, guarding the entrance to a hidden kingdom. The knight's strength and courage were a mirror to Elara's own resilience, a facet she often overlooked amidst life's trials. The knight's unwavering resolve was a testament to Elara's own inner strength, a silent affirmation that she too had the power to overcome any obstacle that came her way. These encounters, as peculiar as they were, served a significant purpose in Elara's journey within. They were not merely random figures she stumbled upon, they were mirrors reflecting back her own strengths, her own capabilities, 
and her own potential. They were reminders of the power that lay dormant within her, waiting to be acknowledged and embraced. Each encounter was a step towards self-acceptance, a step towards the integration of her multifaceted self. It was a journey of discovery, a journey of becoming, a journey towards the realization of her true self. Each encounter served as a mirror, reflecting back to her the aspects of herself that she had yet to acknowledge and integrate. At last she reached the end of her journey, a tranquil oasis nestled deep within the recesses of her soul. Ilara had journeyed through the labyrinth of her mind, traversed the treacherous terrains of her fears, doubts and insecurities. Now, she found herself in a place of serenity, a sanctuary of stillness amidst the tumultuous waves of her thoughts and emotions. In this oasis of tranquility, Ilara discovered a profound sense of connection. It was as if she had tapped into a cosmic web, a universal tapestry woven from the threads of all existence. This was a place of unity, where the boundaries of self dissolved into the vast expanse of the universe. In the quietude of her own mind, she felt a deep resonance with everything around her. The rustling leaves, the babbling brooks, the whispering winds. It was a symphony of existence, a harmonious dance of life and energy. Here, in the heart of her consciousness, Ilara began to understand the true nature of freedom. It was not something to be sought in the outside world, in the accolades and achievements, in the validation and approval of others. No, the freedom she yearned for was a state of being, a way of existing. This freedom was the ability to observe her thoughts and emotions without judgment, to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and equanimity. It was the capacity to be fully present in each moment, to experience life in all its richness, without being swayed by the undercurrents of past regrets or future anxieties. Ilara realized that this freedom was within her all along, it was not something to be attained, but rather, something to be uncovered, to be remembered. It was the essence of her true nature, the core of her being. She understood that her journey was not about becoming something more, but about recognizing what she already was. It was a voyage of self-discovery, a pilgrimage to the heart of her own being. In the silence of her own being, she found the freedom she had been searching for, a freedom that could never be taken away, for it was the essence of her true nature.